Sanford Stadium in Athens, the site for this incredible college football matchup. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 36. Georgia's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Six yards there on the counter. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 42. Check three, check three, check three. Ready! He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go! And they get nice yardage on that run. And they convert the first down on that run. And the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. receiver screen and it's dropped incomplete I love to see a competent quarterback but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws you need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football from midfield it's second down he airs it out spectacular play and now it's first and goal the receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. converts the extra point. So that's a six play, 63 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Georgia gets set to kick this one away. He sends that one high in the air. And down he goes at the 28. Kick off and turn 16 yards. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Looking to scramble down, he can't get away from the pressure. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Five wide. And they get the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. 
Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Return for a gain of four yards. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. That'll move the chains for another Georgia. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Georgia is up by a touchdown. At about the 49, and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Wide receiver screenplay, and they push him out at about the 41. Call a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Ready! Black 90! Black. Fires out quickly, incomplete. Number 26 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Kicks up, and it falls short. No good. Tough break there for the kicking team. So we'll change possession with a score, 7-0, Georgia. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 41. He's going to try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. He rifles it. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the second half. He drops it. Tackle made at the 31. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he tackles them hard at the 19-yard line. They're going no huddle here, so a good way to keep the defense from substituting. In the shotgun and five wide outs. They bring him down. After one, this game's still pretty close. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Georgia up seven points. Slings it, and down he goes around the 24-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 36-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Let's get out of the field for the official call. Offside. Defense. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Gain of 11 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 21 yard line. On the tackle at the 21 yard line. First down. Brought down right around the 24 yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 24 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and 13. He's coming this way, coming this way. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Watch it for two. Oh, 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 oh. Tailback brought down for a loss. That's a one yard on the play. That brings up it's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it out quickly. Inside the 10, and he's taken down at the four. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Make the stop at the four-yard line. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defender stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. Just inside the five. Second down. There was some movement on the line. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Go with a screen incomplete. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 11. It's up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 26, deep to return. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Down the sideline. At the 30. Got an opening. The 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a phenomenal effort. He did a great job of setting up his blocks and then used some great field sense to get into the open. Once that happened, there was no stopping. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Check three, check three. Down. And they won't get the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number two, deep to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. The Panthers will use their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down. Steps out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Looks for his running back incomplete. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Going deep. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 60-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 20 to three. They line up to kick this one away. He lofts it high in the air. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Kirk, we've talked a lot about this guy over the last few years. Here he is again, making it look easy. Is he in the offensive huddle? Does he know the snap count? I mean, the thing that's really impressing me the most is his ability to consistently get a great jump at the snap of the ball. And he's been able to get to the quarterback now a couple times as well. And he's sacked. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside, defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense offsides. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Here we go, here we go. And he just gets rid of it. Steps out at the 37. Four yards gain. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Well, that's a big-time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Fourth and one. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Georgia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Aaron and out long. 
And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and kick. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. To the end zone. And this one falls incomplete. That's going to do it for the first half. And they're just trying to keep this thing close. The Bulldogs lead it by 17. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26. George's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 31. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Strike to his receiver, no good. He's tackled at the 44. We're about set to start things up again. He airs it out. Complete. It's the junior. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he missed it. He missed the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number seven, back to return. He pushes it up there. He's out to the 30. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. Get up. Blue 78. Get up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tackle at about the 41. That'll bring up 32. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down. And that's just what they did with that big run. From the 48-yard line, first down. Tackled for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. scrambling and down he goes at about the 49 third down now and they need to get it down to the 38 throws 
it to the halfback on the screen. And he's leveled at the 50. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Incomplete. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He wants it all. Almost picked off. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From the 50. Second down. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover him. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. That makes it second and ten. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Ready! And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. Touchdown! That's TD pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And the extra point is no good. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. He sends that one high in the air. Oh, what a hit. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's three down and one to go. George is running away with it. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. He scrambles. The ball pops free. It's recovered. He tackles him for a loss. So the sack makes this third and very long. it to the back and he carries the ball for a nice game now you're making it very hard for yourself to come back when you make play calls like that this is not the time to run the football tries to get around the corner 
He's still going. Tackle made at the 45. Man, I'm not sure if the players on the return team are all on the same page there. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Georgia up big right now in this one. And here's a quick throw. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Brought down around the 19-yard line. You know, this could be considered rubbing salt in the wounds, but you have to keep playing for the entire 60 minutes. So if the defense has a problem with it, they need to defend it better. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Ready, ready. Throws! The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Number 26, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Hey. Here we go, D, get off the field. Five. He's tackled around the two-yard line. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. First down. They're inside the five. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. Second and goal. Ready, ready, ready. There's another. Obviously, some bad blood between these two teams. They're lining up for two points here. The short yardage defense here. He's got the two. So that's a five-play, 54-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 45-yard line. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that. Just under three to go in regulation. Under heavy pressure. That's a great tackle at the 48. Loss of three yards on the play. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Watched out, and he's going to get sacked. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll bring up third and nine. He's under pressure, and the quarterback gets sacked again. That's a loss of eight yards. Fourth and long here after the sack. Down he goes at the 41-yard line. The Bulldogs coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It works. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Ready! He's wrapped up for the sack. Makes the sack. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and two. We have less than a minute to go. Ready. Go, go, go. They 
They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. They make the stop at about the 21. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He's had a very good game, and he makes it look easy. He's up to 400 yards. I like the way he's throwing the football today, showing a lot of poise in the pocket. Ready. Ready. Up, up, up. Slides down to the ground. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on the corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Georgia staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on.